Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to sketch support link for vertical Stirling engine. This gives the drive to piston. We will see in our assembly. So let's see how to sketch this link in support link in SOLIDWORKS. Now select front plane sketch. Now choose center line and draw one center line up to origin point and the second line from origin point. Now assign dimension 30 mm 20 mm. Ok. Now choose circle and draw two circles two circles here one circles and here consecutively four circles and here two circles now assign dimension five mm inside radius two mm three point eight mm four point two mm four point eight mm and this one five point two mm and this is smaller one keep 2 mm the same as this one 5.2 mm 4.2 mm 5 mm and inside keep 3 mm now assign distance from this circle to this circle 7 mm 5 mm and between this circle 5.5 mm select 6 mm the same as here from Seven point five mm. And six mm. Now all the circles defined. Okay, now choose center line and draw two center lines. Again choose center line and draw two. Assign dimension 4 mm 4 mm Ok now choose line And draw one line from this point to this Circle Ok Again from this point to this circle Ok Again choose line and draw from this point to this circle ok and the last line from this circle to this circle ok now assign relation select this circle and this line tangent this circle and this line tangent the same as here select this circle and this line tangent this circle this line and this circle tangent ok now choose trim and delete inside line ok ok now our geometry is fully defined so let's extrude extruded boss choose mid plane and select thickness 2 mm 
click OK. Now select chamfer 0.1 mm. Select this surface and back surface. Click OK. Now it is already chamfered and this is our support link for Sterling engine is ready. Now we will assign material. Go to appearance. Open metal. Then choose copper. Copper polished copper. Now this is our support link for vertical Sterling engine. It helps to move the piston up and down. We will see in our assembly. Please subscribe our channel for more videos and more projects in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching.